was one of the most popular recipes in the early 17th century England, which is the jumbles. It is a cookie that is flavored with rose water. It actually came across from Italy. So it's flavored with rose water and some caraway seeds. And it's rolled into long strips and just uh, simply braided, knotted, or tied. And then over at the other end of the table, we have got some molded gingerbread. And this is quite simply, this is just gingerbread that has been placed into cookie molds. This is a 1970s reproduction of a mold from the year 1565. And unusually, compared to print gingerbread of today, the primary ingredient in these is stale breadcrumbs. It's a mixture of breadcrumbs, red wine, some cinnamon, some ginger, aniseed, licorice root, and a little bit of sugar, all basically cooked together into a sticky dough, pressed into a mold, removed, and then no dried. So it's your no-bake gingerbread. Thank you. And then at the back here, we have a very early form of figgy pudding. I forgot you were here. This recipe is simply called figgy. It's from the year 1392, and it consists of chopped figs, raisins, uh, cooked down with red wine, thickened with some ground almonds, and then sweetened with a little bit of honey, seasoned with some ginger and cinnamon. It's really sweet. It is really good. And then finally, the centerpiece, we have some wax. We, we have, with some wax added for flavor, uh, we have a bread dough, dough uh, sculpted boar's head made out of bread dough. Uh, based on a tavern sign from the year 1688, and then we have some extra bread dough. And some bread so it's lips. a bread mother. It's, it's a bread it's a bun. mama's boar. She's got her little piglets alongside. And that is our little banquet spread uh, for today. Mama's boar. Thank you.